From zero dollars to millionaire, how these entrepreneurs went broke and became successful. Case study, going insolvent, striking rock bottom, burning and crashing, call it whatever you will, these highly successful entrepreneurs of the oracles have lived it. They share their experience of how losing it all helped them reach even greater success. Let's face it, mistakes happen. When they do occur, then it's important to learn from them. I know that sounds strange, but there's some truth behind this statement. In fact, studies continuously show making mistakes is necessary for the learning process. It helps you notice common fallacies and how to avoid them with knowing how to succeed. Almost every fortunate entrepreneur has failed at least once. Whether it's being rejected by an entrenched business, dropping out of school, messing up prototypes, being set off from a job, or going bankrupt, they've pitched on their way to success. Hey guys, welcome to Unlimited Money, where we tell you about from zero to a millionaire, how these entrepreneurs went broke, then became successful case study. So stay with us till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell symbol while you're at it so you never miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. Michael Jordan became one of the most prominent basketball players after being cut from his high school basketball team. Walt Disney lost rights to his first victorious cartoon, Oswald the Rabbit, because of a defective contract. Some of the most notable entrepreneurs out there have hit road bumps on their path, but they ultimately succeed with perseverance and grit. So let us see what you should follow for this, and also we'll share a few stories of some well-known entrepreneurs. So the first one is, discover your obsession. Once as a kid, while walking into a shop, I left the quarter that was in my hand. It fell into a manhole, and there was no way to recover it. I was gutted. My dad told me to be cautious with money, but my grandpa said it's not a problem that I dropped a quarter. The problem is, you only had that quarter. The same holds true for many people today. The amusing thing for me is that I had more money when I was 12 than when I was 25. I was entirely broke, a drug addict, and checked into convalescence. Today I'm a hectic millionaire and earn more in a day than I used to earn in a year a few years ago. It's all because I gave myself the allowance to become obsessed with success. When I began to own the fact that I was obsessed with personal fantasies of unbreakable wealth and fame, and the wish to create a legacy that would outlive my time on this planet, the world looked different and I acted adversely. Your obsession is the most treasurous tool you have built the life you dream of. Unfortunately, most people never point out what they are really obsessed with because they've been taught to deny their obsessions. Grant Cardone is a top sales expert who built a $500 million estate empire and is the author of Be Obsessed or Be Average, and he said, do not let that be you. Find something you're possessed with and embrace that obsession. The next is adapting to new realities. When the market slammed from 2007 to 2009, I focused on how to obey clients in this new reality. I modified myself to market conditions. I increased down on the business of helping clients manage this change in their own business. I helped them go from a traditional retail business to a diversified reach, where they worked with banks to sell bank-owned homes, distressed benefits, and short sales. Because this enclosed a significant number of homes sold during the crisis, the business lived. We were able to brace our customers by connecting them with people we knew who could ease their work with banks. We also directed them to the right conventions and needed certifications to succeed on this new playing field. I hired one of the best and most expensive writers accessible, Laura Morton, to write a book with me and set a dream that would help people get through this time of need and give value and create awareness. I even took her chief conference success summit and decreased the price to support more people. I went all in on giving back and modifying to tough times, creating more relations, bringing more value, and becoming a soon adopter on social media channels. That made all the dissimilarities in my business. Next, hustle is not the answer. At one time, I had $47 in my account. No car, no college degree, no job, and no real hopes. Books and teachers pulled me out of that, comprising my first mentor, whose name was Mike Steinbeck, who provided me with a job and taught me about finances. Even then, I still felt pushed. I worked harder and harder, but did not see increased success behind having a regular paycheck. That's because in hindsight, there's one very simple way to get alleviated. Work smarter in spite of working harder, which entails putting in a suitable amount of work at the appropriate time. Working hard should never be the goal. One of the reasons people get stuck for so long is that you buy into the lie that you're going to hustle your way out of it. No way. 
The top 10 richest people on the planet are not the absolute hardest working people. They grip one hour of work into the equivalent of 100 hours of work. These successful life stories of people like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett had mentors that saved them a massive amount of work by showing them shortcuts. Like a fuel-efficient car that goes more miles per gallon on less gas, the real aim is to work half as much and get two times as much done. The next one is Rise from the Ashes. In 2007, I lost my parents, sadly. I had no idea how to manage it, so I focused on the company I got. We placed a massive financial bet on our hosting infrastructure based on the promises of one company. In 2008, that company proclaimed bankruptcy, and I faced hundreds of thousands of personal debt that I could not pay again. I worked more 100-hour weeks and saw my relationships wither and watched the financial collapse begin to take hold. Customers extended their payments out and no new agreements came in. My ego and identity were bound to my company. As it failed, I saw myself as defeated. I could not see a way out and further isolated myself. I started riding my motorcycle recklessly and that was literally risking my life. I felt unfulfilled and completely empty. Seeing this action, my one friend told me to join these crazy folks called the Adventurists who drive bikes to Mongolia. After a few months, I found myself with two friends driving an ambulance 10,000 kilometers from the United Kingdom to Mongolia. The journey took approximately two months. Along the way, I got myself, started to learn who I was, and I wanted also to know who had my back and how I could make a change. By authorizing my company to survive without me, it began to scale and grow beyond my expectations. That led to an amazing period of success and fulfillment at that point in my life which I have since surpassed. I share this because no matter your present situation, you're not alone anyway. A future of fulfillment always is possible. Do a quick search through the business records and you can get lists of successful entrepreneurs that started with nothing and still hit rapid heights of business success. You might be sitting there today marveling at how you possibly could get your idea off the ground, but with technology in your hands, it's never been easier to get your product to expand and your brand into the minds of potential customers. If you're in need of some inspiration, then do not worry. Just take notes from our video and make them apply to your life to get success like these successful entrepreneurs. And that's going to do it for our video for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and make sure you share it with all your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments for us, please share them with us in the comment space below. We always love checking in and we always love to hear from you, our viewers. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do our channel. So thank you so much. If you have any other kind of feedback for us, we are always all ears for you. And if you have any requests for topics that you may like us to cover, let us know all about it. Hey, while we're talking about it, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel too, where you'll see even more of our incredible videos. And please make sure you press that bell icon on your way out. That way you are always updated and notified of our latest updates and uploads, which we always put onto our channel. You can always check out our other videos that have been specially selected just for you. Hey, we sincerely thank you for joining up with us today and spending time out of your busy day to hang out with us. And we'll look out for you in our next video. Hey, have a great rest of your day, and thanks so much for watching.